Now in today's topic, we will cover particularly for laminar. So here in this topic, we will see how the laminar flow of fluid behaves when it is flowing in a circular pipe. So let us see the velocity distribution for Newtonian fluid can be obtained through the definition of viscosity. We all know about the viscosity and what is the definition of viscosity. That was derived in Newton's law of viscosity. See, this is the formula for viscosity or I can say this is the Newton's law of viscosity. Fine. Mu is equals to minus tau upon du by dr. Tau is shear stress and du by dr is the velocity gradient. That means change in velocity with respect to distance that is radius and mu is coefficient of viscosity. From this if I rearrange this equation mu is equal to minus tau upon du by dr if I rearrange that equation in terms of du by dr then it will be du by dr equals to minus tau upon mu just we rearrange the equation nothing else. Now by putting the value of tau from where from the equation which was derived in previous derivation see here what I have put there tau is equals to tau w upon r w into r from where it comes we have derived the equation tau w by r w equals to tau by r if you remember that tau w by r w is equals to tau by r so what is the value of tau tau w by r w into r that I have put here. See in place of tau I have written tau w by r w into r. So now what is the equation du by dr is equal to minus tau w upon r w mu into r. Fine. Now next was du by i in place of du by dr I am just writing the equation for du that is change in velocity. So, du is equal to minus tau w upon r w mu into r dr. Fine. Now, I have to integrate the, this equation for some limit. So, integrating the equation with boundary condition at r equals to r w u is equals to 0. Remember that this is also for the situation which we have taken for our first derivation. If you remember shear stress distribution in pipe that we have done, we have take one circular pipe from that the fluid is flowing. That condition we follow here. So at R equals to RW that means when radius is radius of wall, at wall what is velocity? At the surface of the pipe velocity is always 0 and at the center velocity is always maximum. And I want to derive the velocity distribution equation for laminar flow. So that's why I have taken here limit as R equals to RW, U is equals to 0. By putting that and after doing the integration like this, see, integration 0 to U du is equals to minus tau W upon RW mu. Tau W upon RW mu is the constant value, so I have taken it from outside of integration. So, minus tau w upon r w mu integration r w to r r dr. Fine. Integration of du is u by putting the limits 0 to u. That means in place of du, now we have u. u is equals to r dr integration r square by 2. And after doing the limits, you will get the equation of this type. So, u is equals to tau w upon 2 r w mu into bracket rw square minus r square. This is my equation number 1. Now, if I want the value for maximum velocity, say u max, where the velocity is maximum? At center. And at center radius is 0. So, I can write that 
at r equal to 0 u is equal to u max that is maximum velocity. So, the maximum value of local velocity u max is located at the center of the pipe and at the center of the pipe r is equal to 0 and u is equal to u max. So, above equation can be written as in above equation now you have to put r equals to 0 and in place of u you have to write u max. So, now the equation become u max is equal to tau w r w upon 2 mu because here r is equal to 0. So, tau w r w square upon 2 r w mu 1 r w will be cancelled out. So, the equation of u max is equal to tau w r w upon 2 mu. This is my equation number 2. Fine. Now, from this equation number 1 and 2. Now, I am dividing equation 1 by equation 2. Equation 1 is of local velocity, equation 2 is of maximum velocity. Now, I am dividing equation 1 by equation 2. You will get the equation like this. We are just dividing two equations, nothing else. And after that, you will get the equation of form like this. u by u max is equal to 1 minus r by r w square. So, u is equals to u max into bracket 1 minus r by r w whole square. So, this equation gives you the relation between local velocity and maximum velocity. From this equation, you can see that when you will draw a graph, fine, then it is the parabolic form. So, it is clear from above equation that laminar flow of Newtonian fluid through a circular pipe, the velocity distribution with respect to radius is parabola with the apex at the center of the pipe. And this equation relates maximum velocity with local velocity. So, if asked that derive the equation which represents the relation between local velocity and maximum velocity in case of laminar flow of fluid through pipe, then you have to derive this equation. And it shows the velocity distribution with respect to radius is parabola. This equation also uh, asked like that, that derive the velocity distribution for laminar flow of fluid through pipe. Then also you have to derive this equation. Fine. So, it gives velocity distribution through pipe and it also gives the relation between local velocity and maximum velocity. Fine. So, that is all for this derivation. Now, let us see second derivation. In this derivation, we have to prove that average velocity is half of the maximum velocity for laminar flow in pipe. In previous derivation, we have derived relation between local velocity and maximum velocity. In this equation, we have to relay average velocity with maximum velocity. And when we relate that, we will reach to a form and that form shows that average velocity is one half of the maximum velocity for laminar flow in pipe. So, let us see that basically average velocity u of the entire stream flowing through any cross section area A is defined as u is equals to 1 upon A integration A u d A. This is the general definition of average velocity. Now, in this equation, substitute the values of a is equals to pi r w square. This is the area of whole pipe and that is why we have written r w. r w is the radius of the entire pipe. Fine. So, in place of A, I have to put pi r w square. Now, what is d A? d A is 2 pi r d r and local velocity u. What is u, local velocity? We have derived equation in our previous derivation. Fine. And that equation we have to apply here. So, u is equal to tau w upon 2 r w mu into bracket r w square minus r square. Fine. So, now in this u equation, we have to put this value of a, 
da and u in that equation. So, after putting that equation, see, you will reach to this form. After putting value of a, da and local velocity u in average velocity u equation, you will reach to this form. After simplification, u is equals to tau upon rw cube mu integration 0 to rw, rw square minus r square r dr. Fine. Now we have to do the integration. By solving the integration, r dr integration is r square by 2, rw is constant for r. Fine. So when you solve this equation and putting the limit 0 to rw, you will get the form u is equal to tau w rw upon 4 mu. But this u is average velocity. And that equation u is equal to tau w rw upon 2 mu bracket rw square minus r square. That equation is of local velocity. And from that local velocity equation, we have derived the equation of average velocity. So, this average velocity u is equal to tau w r w upon 4 mu. This is my equation number 1. But we know that maximum velocity equation, we have already maximum velocity equation that we derive in this first derivation in today's section. So, u max is equal to tau w r w upon 2 mu. Now, this is my equation number 2. Now, I have two equations. Equation number 1 and 2. Equation 1 is for average velocity and equation 2 is for maximum velocity. And I have to prove that the average velocity is one half of the maximum velocity. Now, you can see both the equations. Average velocity u is tau w r w upon 4 mu and u max that is maximum velocity is tau w r w upon 2 mu. I want the relation between these two equations. Right. So, now what I have to do? From equation 1 and 2, if you divide both the equations, see, I am dividing or I am taking the ratio of average velocity and maximum velocity. That is u by u max. Or you can say that dividing equation 1 by 2. That is u by u max. When you divide this both equation, you can easily say that u by u max is equal to 2 by 4 and 2 by 4 that is 0.5. Fine. So, from equation 1 and 2, when I am taking ratio of u by u max, you will get answer as 0.5. So, u by u max is equal to 0.5. So, it is proved that the average velocity is equal to one half of the maximum velocity. u is equal to 0.5 u max. Fine. So, it is proved that average velocity is one half of the maximum velocity. So, that is all for today's session. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.